Hello. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Unstoppable Morgan. I don't know what the f I'm saying right now. Take 100. Take 101. Take 102. I'm definitely a little rusty. I'm sitting here trying to edit this and it's just not coming together because I am a rusty Mick Rusterson. Been a few months, man. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube with an edited video. I decided to just start live streaming since December. If you click on the live button, you'll see all those live streams if you want to go back and watch the journey. Uh, however, yeah, I haven't like sat down and talked to just a camera and then edited myself in a minute. So sorry about this. I'm just a little rusty. Anyways, my intros weren't working. Basically, hi, my name is Unstoppable Morgan and I turn trucks into tiny homes. It's amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> Which now leaves room for a smoker. <laughs> Wait till I'm done with it. My first rig was a 1996 Ford Bronco. I did 18 months and 47 states in it. Then I took a year off essentially the internet and rented a house in Memphis and I built out a second Bronco. Still a work in progress. It's currently in storage. It'll be my little project car for the next few years or every time I settle down. And now I built out an F-250 on the side of the road. My lease was up in Memphis and instead of hopping back in my Bronco, I decided, you know what, why don't I take this F-250 and build it out on the side of the road? You know, hopefully inspire the people. You don't have to have everything put together in order to hit the road. Build it, girl. A rooftop deck, so I can have bonfires by the beach. What do you think? It cost me 30 bucks so far. Welcome to my newest creation, the F-250 with a camper shell and a traveling hot tub. This camper shell I got off of an AT&T utility truck at a junkyard for 300 bucks. It was a little too long for my truck, so I went ahead and fabricated some pieces to make it completely boxed in before I left Memphis, and I've been working on the interior ever since. And it's been quite a journey, folks. Welcome to chaos. It is breakfast time. <laughs> One day this is gonna look great. I was thinking last night, man, if I could turn this in to a countertop. In this rig, I really wanted a full-size kitchen. And by Bronco, I had this tiny little space and every time I cook, it would just fill up the whole Bronco with smoke. So I wanted the back to just be a full kitchen where I could make some good meals and stop eating so much fast food and a place where people can come together and eat some good food. So that's exactly what I did. Now mind you, I've never worked with wood before. However, I had to learn how to become a carpenter because my generator wasn't strong enough to power up my welder. So I went ahead and built out this little closet. I got the wood for about 23 bucks from the 70% off section at the Home Depot. And I put together this really cool space to be able to hang clothes so I don't have to always have wrinkly stuff. And a little place to put some kitchen utensils and supplies to cook with. Everything is bolted down, all those little containers you see so that nothing goes flying when I'm driving. And just lots of extra storage, power supplies, you know, backup supply of top ramen. And then I, what I really wanted to do was have a laundry chute. In my Bronco, I had no place to put dirty clothes. So one side is a, uh, a laundry chute for dirty stuff and the other side is for clean linens. Absolutely adore it. Again, don't look too closely. I know a lot of the nails are coming through the wood because the wood was super thin and the nails were really long. But again, I ghetto rig rigs. So that's just uh, goes along with the style. <laughs> ripped quite a few things pulling it out. I really gotta cut those off. I need to cut off wheel. I'm not gonna lie you guys, there's a lot of tape going on in this rig. <laughs> this is not for resale, okay? The nail's coming out all over the place and, and a lot of duct tape or gorilla tape, but it works. <laughs> When I fabricated the extension of the truck, I dropped it down a few inches so that this is a wet room. So I've got a shower. Shower complete. I'm going to go and get dried off. Use these to dry off. I put a little rug down here in case I leaked while I showered, but no, no leaking at all. 
and I have to say that was a success. I'm pretty excited. So that's a, another reason why the stove is right here so that you can put a pot on the stove and warm up the water. And then when I'm in cooler temp, air, temp areas, I can really warm myself up. A rocket's launching. Woohoo! How cool. Getting ready for bed. Or getting ready for the night. Lots of bug spray. <laughs> I didn't show my sink. Here's a little sink here. And you can turn on this little pump. Fresh water, if you need it. Put some fresh water in the dog bowl. Oh yeah, oh, that citronella candle's really going. And then I also have the Fountain of Yoda. Right now it is the top of its charging, but some fresh water to drink comes out of Yoda. Kitchen's closed. This little window that goes to the cab of the truck is really convenient because not only can I crawl through it, but I also use it as a divider while I'm cooking. And then when it's time for the dogs to eat, I open it up and let them come in and have their meal. I've got a little portable toilet that I use and on the other side of the truck, it's actually a big, huge storage area and that's, you can actually open it up and it lets out all the hot air from the AC when I'm running it. I can store all my tools. I can put my generator in there. It's really handy. And now let's head on over to the cab of the truck where the dogs and I spend the majority of our time. The floor is completely padded for Mr. Miles Davis to sleep comfortably down there. However, I do let him into the bed every once in a while because, you know, he needs his snuggles too. I'm only 5'5", five five, so I sleep very comfortably horizontally. Must be with mom, must be with mom, must be with mom. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello, how are you? Oh, this one must be with mom at all times too. Hello, darlings. All the way up, Miles Davis. Thank you. Looks like the rain's coming back. I thought we were done till 4 a.m., but we're not, so. Let me roll up the windows. Love you guys. I built out a rooftop deck, and a lot of you were saying, Morgan, don't do that. You're gonna eat crap off of the top of that thing eventually, and I did. And I've been in a walker, now a boot, for the last five weeks. I sprained the bottom of my foot. I basically was walking up there late at night and uh, did kind of like the splits off of the thing and landed straight on the bottom of my foot and then my elbow. So I sprained my elbow and my foot. And yeah, I've been kind of scooting around on a walker for the last five weeks. It's been incredibly challenging, but now I am finally able to use my foot again. And of course, the first thing I do is go out and get a hot tub and throw it on top of the rig. Next time on Unstoppable Morgan, we fill this bad boy up. What could possibly go wrong, Morgan? A lot of people think that it's going to crush the camper. Just completely crush it. Um, you know, I'm not sure, so it's about what's eight gallons, uh, eight pounds to the gallon, and it's 245 gallons. So what, what is that? Like a little under 2,000 pounds or something? I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. So anyways, if you guys want to tune into that video, make sure you hit the bell and it will notify you when I upload and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. The first person to leave a comment and guess the actual outcome of this rooftop hot tub wins a prize. I'm not sure what that prize is just yet, but I'm gonna figure that out, okay? So leave the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you think it's gonna crush it, if you think the, the back end is going to fall, the, the part that I fabricated, if you think it's gonna be fine, uh, if you think I'm going to eat off of the rooftop deck for the second time and break the, the other leg. Um, just leave in the comments below what you guys think is gonna happen. Let's just have some fun. I'm not too worried about it. You know, if uh, it hits the fan, then I guess we'll just have to take this thing off and build something new. <laughs> okay, love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.